you're coming to Calgary, you have to try the local delicacy. Prairie oysters, it's not for everybody's palate. Some people might find it a little hard to swallow. Either way, you're gonna need some balls. What the hell of prairie oysters? Uh, they're the testicles of castrated males to, that ranchers need to do in order to maintain the integrity of their herds. Those are the balls? Though. Those are the balls, yeah, those are the balls. But, the, the, but, uh, then, but hang on, prairie oysters, this sounds like some kind of seafood. Well, they, they, no one wants to eat you know, uh, cow testicles. I don't think if you had cow testicles on something, people wouldn't be as, as, uh, right. as keen to try it out. But prairie oysters, uh, they usually get suckered in for that. <laughs> if I was going to compare them to anything, I'd say it'd probably be liver. I like liver. I'm actually a fan of liver. I know it's kind of, I know some people are turned off by liver. It's just, you know, I've had kidneys, I've had hearts, chicken hearts, and yeah. something like that. Never gone for the brain myself, but um, I think I've got the balls. Let's uh, come in the kitchen. Let's, let's yeah, sure, let's get dirty. Backstage in Buzzards, and I can absolutely can guarantee that things are going to get a little nuts. Yeah, I bet that's probably more balls than you've ever held at one time, eh? These is this is just the internal uh, this is just the internal ball itself, as it were. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna cut them really thin. All right, cutting nuts. Cutting balls. Slicing balls. We can we can be here we can be all day. <laughs> we have all day tickling balls, but let's, um, okay, what, what, what do we do next? Well, let's, let's head up to the line and we're going to saute these guys in some maple whiskey butter. We're going to use some crown royal, some gooseberries, strawberries, and we're going to make them taste great. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so we got our fresh fruit. We're gonna bring our oysters across. Here we go. Just gonna start them going in the butter. Butter makes everything taste better. Booze and butter. This is amazing. I mean, all right, that looks delicious. No one ever complains when they get my balls in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to try some nuts. Uh, they, uh, I'll you have know, some with you just so you don't feel left it's, out. It's, it's great to see it prepared. You know, learn about this, learn about them, where they come from. I mean, not where they come from, but yeah, I mean, that's where a, they. That's a strawberry, not a nut. That's a, that's a, that, that is not a nut. I'm watching. Oh my okay. God. Balls to you, sir. Yeah. Just in case everybody wanted to know how to swallow. <laughs> it's not so bad at all. When I when they told me I had to come and do the story. Okay, but oh, what, I, am I, what am I gonna I eat? What that is this? I, What's I going on I, here? Is this some kind of a setup? I had to bring my favorite souvenir of all time. Oh crap. Because it was just so applicable. And here we go, we got some cold beers. And when you're gonna eat some balls, what you need to do is bring out the kangaroo scrotum bottle. Up <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's not the real thing, is That is the real thing, my friend. That is the real, authentic, 100% <laughs> kangaroo scrotum bottle opener. Because that's pretty, that's pretty wonderful. That's uh... Because if you're gonna have a meal with balls, you may as well, you know. <laughs> Throw in a little hairy scrotum. Oh, you know? cheers. Cheers to you. You're sir. a wonderful man. That is, that's, that's pure comedy. Mm -hmm.